everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's still December, but Vlogmas is over. So, I have a ton of presents to wrap. I got a lot of packages here that I need to sort through and figure out like what needs to be wrapped, etc. So I am gonna go ahead and talk with you guys while I wrap presents, figure I do like a little chit chat, wrap presents with me. So if you need to wrap some presents, I highly recommend that you sit down and do this with me and we can just talk. I have a lot of things to say about why I stopped doing Vlogmas and me and mental health things and things like that. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So I'm going to go ahead and undo my wrapping paper first. Corey bought me like the cheapest wrapping paper that you could ever buy. It's just not that great. I'm a little disappointed, but it is what it is. <laughs> so I stopped doing Vlogmas and there is a lot of reasons why I stopped doing Vlogmas. And I can go into that. I would say the first reason I stopped doing Vlogmas was because of my mental health. Y'all, this year is, has been a hard year for, for all of us. Like, it's been a very hard year. And adding extra stress on top of that, which is Vlogmas, is not healthy to me. It's not healthy. And last year, I didn't struggle with Vlogmas, like, at all. I didn't struggle with it. Um... I didn't have any problems doing it, but last year was a different year. Uh, it was 2019, and we weren't in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, dealing with a million political issues. Like, it, it was just a different time, and I was definitely more at peace with everything going on. I was happier. I didn't have such a hard semester as I did this year, and so I was okay with doing Vlogmas, but this year I just wasn't. And not only the mental health stuff, which I'll get into that later, uh, but also... I don't think that it was suiting my channel or me anymore like old heaven 2019 heaven where heaven just posted whatever she wanted is completely different to my standards now that I hold for myself and my channel I am trying to be a Christian ministry and it just wasn't working for me like I tried to talk about God and this and that, but I didn't ever feel like I was doing enough. And I felt like I was just uploading a video. And instead of actually like, oh, it's double-sided. Cute. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I love it. Which I don't want to do. Hmm. Hmm, I like both. We'll do, we'll do a little of both. We'll do a little of both. Uh, but yeah, I just didn't suit, think it was suiting like my Christian ministry anymore uh, because I wasn't being like what I wanted to be. I want to like inspire you guys, encourage you guys every single video. I don't want to post like a million meaningless videos where yes, it entertains you, that's great, but there's like a million things that entertain you. I don't feel like that's my purpose for my YouTube channel. It's just like solely entertainment, you know? Like I think that I want so much more than that for me and for my channel. And so I'm really gonna start focusing on that now. So I'm not a good cutter, you guys. I cut the worst. I don't cut in a straight line. It's just not great. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's not the wrapping that counts, right? It's the present. I'm just kidding. It's not the present either. <laughs> The true message that I wanted to share this Christmas was about the main reason why Christmas is a thing, Jesus. And I don't feel like I accomplished that with Vlogmas. I don't feel like I was accomplishing that. And once I noticed that like, I was just posting day-to-day -day videos rather than posting something meaningful and encouraging, I just didn't want to do it anymore. Like, I didn't want to 
to, to be a part of it anymore because I didn't think that that it was the direction where I wanted my channel to go. I want my channel to be something that is inspiring and that will lift you up and that has a meaning instead of just posting random videos here and there that are cute and fun. There's a million of those videos all over the internet, all over. You can find them anywhere. You can't always find encouragement every day when you really need it the most. And that's something that I want to give really and truly. And I just didn't feel like I was giving that enough. Didn't feel like I was doing enough. So that's really why I stopped doing Vlogmas. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just want to, to be someone that can inspire you, encourage you. Instead of just posting random cute videos that are sorry for the other Vlogmas people that are completely mean, meaningless, meaningless, that are all focused on material things instead of what really is important, which is Jesus, which is love, the fact that he died for us, the fact that God sent him to this world so that he could save our souls like i feel like in my opinion that's like the most important thing about like christmas is jesus it's the reason for the season and i don't feel like i was like i don't feel like i was doing that and i feel like it really had like a, a an impact on my mental health and also like me being stressed about like i'm not doing this enough i'm not doing that like it was just really like stressing me out y'all i just want to be the best I've always been a person that's like, I want to be the best and I want to do the best. I don't want to do something like halfway. That's just not my style. And also, if I'm going to commit to something like turning my channel into a YouTube ministry, I'm going to actually do it instead of being like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to say this, but I'm not actually going to do it. I'm still going to post whatever I want. Like, I feel like that's what I was doing and I just... I just didn't like it so yeah Christmas is great and I think it's awesome to share like what you're doing I think it's awesome and fun to share like the cutesy videos I think it's great I'm not knocking it I just think it's not really one what I wanted to do with my channel but I still will be sharing like Christmas things like this, me, de me wrapping presents and I will still be sharing me going on vacation and things like that. Like I'll still be sharing with you guys. It just won't be the same as like an everyday video. I would rather spend time to like make an amazing video that would really like inspire y'all and that would benefit you in some way instead of just posting a random video every single day that's completely like pointless. So that's just how I feel. So this present is for Corey. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video. <laughs> I don't think he'll know what it is. It just looked like a box to y'all, huh? Let's see. I'm scared that I'm running out of tape. So there's that. I wish I would have thought about that and gotten some more tape. So, I could have swore I have like a ton of tape, but I feel like I just ran out quickly. So there's one present down. I'm not the greatest rapper, y'all. I'm really not. <laughs> but I try. I try. Um, let's see. What's the next thing? I need to check these and make sure that they're not broken or nothing. But like I was saying before, I feel like we're all like over stressed this season. And I think that one thing that I think could really help us and something that I've been trying to do is take out the things that make you more stressed, more sad, and place those things with things that bring you joy, things that bring you happiness, peace, and contentment. Like I recently deleted my twitter like deactivated my twitter because i was not happy with like me being on twitter i felt like it was very unhealthy for me um i spent a lot of time on there not really doing much of anything i did 
spread like God's word and stuff like that, which is like my main goal, of course. But um, it just just became unhealthy. So I stopped doing that. Uh, I just did that last night, actually. <laughs> so now we all life's too short to be stressed, to be depressed, to be sad. Life is too short. But some of us can't help it, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Like we gotta, we gotta replace it with the good stuff, the stuff that makes us happy, the stuff that makes us feel good, and add a little bit of Jesus to our life. That could never hurt, right? So that's really what I'm trying to do, y'all. Plus, this, like I said before, this year has been really hard, and I don't want to end off my year, like being stressed out over something that is really and truly like meaningless such as vlog it's it really is um i didn't want to end my year like that i wanted to like enjoy time with my family and enjoy doing the things that i loved instead of being stressed out every single day about a brand new video what am i gonna do am i talking about god enough am i being encouraging enough am i being this or that you know like things like that is really important to me and of course, I'm not ever going to force like me talking about God. I always want it to be very organic and spirit led. So, you know, when I'm not doing it, it kind of makes me sad. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm breaking it. Ah! Uh oh. Well, some rich, but that's all right. Oh, no. I'm scared this is going to be enough. Maybe this will work. I'll grab that in a second. Oh yeah, this will definitely work. This is a hack, y'all. I've seen this. My my paper ripped. But if you so say like if you put it like this, right? Oh, it's not gonna fit. Obviously, it's not gonna fit all the way around. Turn it vertically, and it will fit. And then you just wait. How did I do it? Oh, like this. Just wrap it like this. And I already forgot, y'all. Y'all making me forget. I'm just kidding. Man, I was doing it. I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. How did I do it? How was I going to do it? Let me see. Oh, I can't remember. Wait, maybe I need to, I don't know, put it more in the middle. Y'all, I forgot already. I was trying to give y'all a tip. I'm so bad at wrapping, though. And then should be able to go like this and then fold yeah there we go fold it up on both sides we got to take it down first y'all I'm scared I ain't gonna have enough tape hopefully we will at least we can wrap a couple presents we don't have to be here all day um one thing I was gonna ask is how is y'all's Christmas shopping going? Have y'all bought everything? Have y'all, uh, are y'all like last minute type shoppers? Or do you just like buy everything before Christmas? I like to get things early. That's just how I roll. Yes, this is working. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay. I'm just scared I'm going to run out of tape. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm about to. It's hard to tell because the tape is clear. Oh my goodness, I just realized. Okay, I'll do that after. I need to put bows on my presents. Okay, let's fold this under. Oh my goodness, it ain't that bad. I'm making it work, y'all. I try. <laughs> I try every single year to make my presents look the absolute cutest, but it doesn't ever always work, but I try. I really do try. But, um, so I have a couple videos planned. I really want to do a video, uh, about the true meaning of Christmas. And then after Christmas, I have some, some videos planned as well. Me and my brother were talking and he was telling me that I should do like 
Christian movie reviews. So that's going to be a thing. I think that's a great idea because there's so many Christian movies that are just trash. They are trash. They don't, uh, the, they're not teaching like sound doctrine or speaking about sound doctrine. They are just not good in general. Like the, the plot line is good. I mean, it's really hard, in my opinion, to find a good Christian show or movie. It truly is. Lately, y'all, I've been watching... Yeah, this one ain't that great, but it's all right. <laughs> but lately, I've been watching um, Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns and also House of Pain. And y'all, those movies or those shows are great. They are really good if you're trying to find like a, a good, funny Christian show that's also like meaningful as well and talks about like real issues, doesn't sugarcoat things. I really love those two shows very, very much. And so I've been watching those lately on Amazon. Hopefully we have another or enough tape to do this one. Let's see what's in here. Actually, let's do do this one right here this present is my mom's robe but i put it in this box because it's just too big but here's what her robe looks like super cozy and soft but another video that i plan on doing is like you know how i was doing those videos where it was like b-roll footage uh, the, an example would be the beauty of loving others, trusting God through the storm. Um, I really want to do a video just like that, but on the birth of Jesus, because one of my favorite things about Christmas is talking about the birth of Jesus. I think it's so good and so important, and a lot of us don't know, like, we don't know and I was encouraged recently to like read again like read the book of Luke and Matthew where it talks about that and I'm really going to but I'm also going to do a video on it so you guys can watch and it'll be fun and very entertaining and just nice to watch so I'm really excited to do that video very very soon and yeah I have a couple things planned but like I said, no more Vlogmas, and I'm sorry if you guys are, like, a little upset about that because, you know, I did say that I was going to do that, but honestly, y'all, just, this wasn't worth it to me, and I more than likely will not be doing it next year on my channel as well because I just don't see that that is the direction that my channel is going personally. I need to get some duct tape. <laughs> I have a uh, cup of... Kava tea. This is the Yogi brand tea and it's really, really good. Mm. Alright, so let's get this guy wrapped for my mom. And also, another thing that I really wanted to mention was that if you guys have any like video ideas for me, things that you would love to see that are more meaningful let me know in the comments if you have a question about something if you need advice on something i have a prayer email that you can message me at it's in the description under the bible verse and you can reach out to me there and send prayer requests or video requests or whatever you would want to send like ask a question if you need advice for whatever but i'm always taking prayer requests i'm always praying for you oh my goodness i am so bad y'all i'm so bad at this not great at wrapping paper. I'm really not. <laughs> wrapping paper. Wrapping presents is what I'm going to say. I don't know if it's going to work. Maybe I can do the same thing I did last.
yeah, I think it'll work. I hope so. The other side. But yeah, and if, like I said, if you have any any video requests, like any like encouraging Christian faith-based videos that I could do for y'all, let me know. Let me know in the comments or send me an email. I also have a business email if you guys would like to send like uh like if y'all want to collab or something like that you can send me an email there as well <gasps> no it's not gonna be this corner <laughs> oh no this is not good it's okay it's okay she's not gonna know what it is it's fine it's fine it's not like she's gonna know what it is by a corner. I hope it fits the top though and fills that. I'm a little scared. And then I'm running out of tape. This is just not good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Oh man, you guys, I'm scared. I don't know if this is gonna work. <gasps> So bad. There we go. And I'm ripping it. Uh oh. All right. Well, you can see the top, but what I'll do is I will put the tag on. Or yeah, you can see it on this side, but I'll put the tag on the other side so you won't be able to see it, and I'll give it to her this way down. Besides, it's not like. This isn't a like hot sauce box or something like that. She's not getting hot sauce, so it doesn't really matter. But look, it kind of looks flawed right there, right? But, but, what? What's wrong with it? I don't see nothing. What? It's perfectly wrapped gift. <laughs> All right, I need to put a name tag on there, and then we're done with this one. And. I think that that is all I'm going to do for right now, but I still want to put ribbons and bows and stuff on them. So, um, let's see, we'll do this one. Um, um, just realized this. I didn't put a tag on the other ones, did I? <laughs> oh, I didn't put a tag on the last one. Heaven and Corey. Okay, let me do that real quick. And so, I want to know in the comments. Let me know if you're still watching. Put like a little um, present emoji if you're still watching this video. But I would like to know in the comments too. Like, do you guys like to wrap presents? Or do you just like, um, do you just put everything in a bag? Because low-key, that's how I do it sometimes. Not even going to lie. All right. There is that one. And I'm going to go ahead and put some bows on these. I got this guy at Dollar General. A red one on this one. Oh no, let me do a green one actually. Ooh, this one's pretty. Uh, I love this. This little box of all these bows is only three dollars a dollar. General. Honestly, y'all. Well, typically, I get all my holiday stuff from there because it's cheaper, and I don't think that holiday should be expensive by any means. Like, I don't think that decor should be expensive. I don't think wrapping paper or wrapping materials should be expensive i just don't think that it should be expensive because like we don't need extra things stressing us out y'all like do less do less <laughs> got it all right let's pull this off here we go stick this right here 
there we go looking cute i love it <laughs> i'm not the best wrapper but i like to accentuate with like bows and ribbons and things like that just to make it look a little bit nicer i guess put a big bow on this one this is a pretty big present Peel off and press. Oh, there we go. Okay. I guess I should have put some ribbon on here, huh? Oh, well, it's too late for that now. <laughs> All right, so we got that one. And last but not least, this one. Okay. All right, took me a second. I had to move some things around real quick though, but I got it. So I'll just stick this one on here. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it here. There we go. Got it. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, but I also hoped that you can understand why I stopped doing Vlogmas. I really am excited to see the direction my channel is going to go. I know that I kind of went a little bit astray. I think I just wanted to do Vlogmas because I enjoyed it so much last year. But like I said, it's not the same direction that I want to go with my channel. And back in 2019 when I did that, I wasn't posting the same kind of content as I am now and I want to hold myself to a specific standard where I post content that is not only fun and cute but is also like beneficial more than just posting a random video every day. So I hope that you can understand and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay beautiful. Bye.